So in this video, we will learn how to send Slack channel message from Zoho Sheet. Now suppose guys, you are adding some kind of new data into your Zoho Sheets and you want that whenever a new row of data is added, you want to send those details as a channel message on your Slack channel. Guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be receiving or adding a new row of data into Zoho Sheets and the action will be sending those newly added data as a message on our Slack channel. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we'll go to a browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabbly Connect. And now we can see that we have reached to Pabbly Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Zoho Sheets to Slack and click on create. So now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data which we are adding in a new row in Zoho Sheets in Public Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send that data to Slack so that using that data, we can set up an automation and instantly send a Slack channel message from the Zoho Sheets data. So let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we will search for Zoho Sheets. Zoho Sheets it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new rows. After selecting a trigger event, just click on this connect button and select add new connection. And here guys, we have to connect our Zoho Sheet account with Pabbly Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Zoho Sheet button and select the domain of your Zoho Sheet account. So guys, how you are going to get the domain that what is the domain of your Zoho Sheets account? So just log into your Zoho Sheet account and in the URL section, you can see the domain over here. So my domain is zoho.com. So the domain of my Zoho account is zoho.com. So we will be entering domain as zoho.com. So you can select any of this domain according to your choice or you can basically search for any of this domain in this domain section on your Zoho account. After entering the domain, just click on save. And guys, because I have logged into my Zoho Sheets account, already logged into my Zoho Sheets account in my browser, Pabbly Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on accept and now we can see that our Zoho Sheets account is now got connected with Pabbly Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us for the workbook. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in our Zoho Sheets account can be seen over here. And out of all of these workbooks, the workbooks which we are going to use in this video is named as new integration requests. So guys, here in this sheet, I'm adding the details of new integration request, which I get. I enter the date, the application name, integration application name, and the message regarding it. And I want that whenever I add a new row or details or data over here, instantly using the, this data, a new Slack message should be sent on my Slack channel with my team members so that my team member also gets updated regarding this new integration. So guys, new integration request. We will be selecting this list from the drop down. New integration request. After selecting our workbook, basically it is asking us for the worksheet. So here in this workbook, as you can see, there is only one sheet named as sheet one. So that is why here we will select from the drop down sheet one. And then we will just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that it has changed to waiting for response, which means Public Connect is waiting to get some new data, some new response from Zoho Sheet. So what we are going to do, we are going to enter some details, some test data in this first row. For example, I'll just enter the date as for example, 13th of September. App name is for example, Zoho CRM. And the message is Zoho CRM is 
a very popular CRM application. Just a second. So CRM is a very popular CRM application. Okay, so this is just a basic message which I want to send. So I want that as uh, this I add this data of new row of details on a new row in Zoho Sheets. Instantly using this data, a new message should be sent. So as we add this data, we will see that instantly, automatically, this newly added row is captured inside Public Connect. So here in Public Connect, in our trigger window, we can see we have received some response. And in this response, we have the request date, the response from the request date column. We have the response from the app column. We have, we have the app name column and the message column as well. So all the data which we are adding in this new row will be instantly received inside Public Connect. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have received the data, new data which we are adding in our Zoho sheet and Public Connect. Now let's move to step two. In step two, we want to use this data and send a Slack channel message. For that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Slack. After that, in action event from the drop down, we will select send channel message. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, here we have to connect our Slack account with Pavli Connect. So just click on this connect with Slack button. Select the connection application. You can use bot or either user. So you can use anything according to your choice. I will select bot over here. Just click on save. And guys, also I have al already logged into my own Slack account in my browser. That's why Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is also asking us for the authorization. Just click on allow and we will see that this connection is completed. We have successfully connected our Slack account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us for the channel. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the channels which we have built on our Slack account can be seen over here. So these are the channels and this, the list of these channels is can be seen over here in Pavli Connect. So out of all of this, I have created a channel named as integration request. And I want to send a message on this channel. So we will be selecting integration request this channel from the drop down integration request. After selecting our channel, the next thing it is asking us is the message. So here in this message field, my, I want my message to be hello team. And then I want actually want to add the message which I have entered in the sheet over here. So we have received this message field, the response from this message field over here. So this is the response. And what we are going to do, we are going to basically map this response over here in this field of message. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Zoho sheet of adding a new row can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of message or data which you want to send to your Slack channel and it is mapped over here. Then I would like to mention the app name, for example, app name. And then we have received the response of app name. We have entered the data of app name as well in a different column in our Zoho sheet. And we have received the app name as well. This is it. So we will be also mapping this response in front of app name. Just click here. And from the drop down below, select and map the app name. And we will also be mentioning the request date. So let's mention the request date. And we have the response or request date. Select it and map it. So I'm creating this kind of simple message. So in this video, I took an example of this integration request, but basically using the same automation, the same process, you can send Slack channel message for any kind of data. Just create the column, create your sheets of data over here in Zoho sheet, add a new row and using this automation, instantly you can send that da same data to your Slack channel as a new message. All you have to do is just map that same data which you want to send to Slack channel at this message field. After creating our message, it is asking us image URL, image alter text. So guys, we are not sending any kind of image in this video to the Slack channel. So we can just ignore it. The next thing it asks us is the bot name. So guys here in bot name, I want my, the name of my bot to be Pavli. If you want, you can also add the bot icon. You can also add an image for the logo of your bot icon. So guys, I'm just ignoring these fields for now. These All of these fields are not mandatory, not required. So let's just ignore it and let's click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. 
and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a message is sent on our Slack channel, the same message which we have created over here. So let's see, we'll go to a Slack channel and yes guys, we can see that here we have received a new message. The message says, hello team, Zoho CRM is a very popular CRM application. App name Zoho CRM, this is the request date. So and we have received this message in this request, integration request channel, the same channel which we have selected over here in Public Connect. Now guys, we can see that we have successfully created this automation and using this automation, whenever we will add a new row of data in Zoho Sheet, automatically using that data, we can send a channel message on Slack. So after successfully setting up this automation, let's test this automation once. What we are going to do, we are going to add a new row of data in Zoho Sheets. Let's enter the date once again. This time the application is WooCommerce. Okay, so I have added a message as we have a new integration request of an e-commerce platform and the application name is WooCommerce and this is the date. And we will see because we have created this automation instantly, automatically as I add the data in a new row over here, automatically using this data, a new message will be sent on our Slack channel. And yes, here we can see that we have a new message which says, hello team, we have a new integration request of an e-commerce platform. App name WooCommerce request date 13th of September 2022. This means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And we have tested this automation in real time too. So guys, not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account. And also, Public Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. And the sign-up link of Public Connect is in the description box below. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com. And you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others. And to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.